Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And, uh, let's go from Idaho from one segment to where everybody knows right now. Let's go to West Tennessee. and Let's talk to Amy Snyder Spencer, our good friend Amy, who is the uh, – Communications and Outreach Leader for the TWRA here in West Tennessee. And uh, good morning, Amy. Good morning. I, I hope people are in the stands this morning enjoying the opening day of archery season. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Some of them decided to wait till after the show. I've already talked to some <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but there may be some listening in the stand. You never can tell. This is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is opening day of the archery season. And uh, uh, is this the opening day of fall turkey? Is that right? Oh, uh, I look down here. Be, yeah, yeah. September twenty sixth, yeah. October thirtieth. I didn't see that until today, this morning. Yeah, you know, <laughs> actually, I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I, I wasn't either. I thinking I looked, about their season. Yeah, I was looking down Is, there. Are there and, any turkeys left? Uh, well, the, there's there's a lot of them with boots on, uh, fighting chiggers and mosquitoes this morning. Those are the turkeys. <laughs> but uh, you know, I've 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 never I've hunted fall turkey one time. And 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 that was it. It just didn't agree with me. But I know there may be some out there. But let's, Amy. I know, like we said, we've got the the archery season opening today. It, it you really know, folks. And Amy will say this: they really need to have that hunting guide, don't they, Amy? You know, you really do. Um, we have so many regulations, and depending on where you're at, you're at. If you're in CWD, if you're not in CWD, you know, if you want to keep the dates it's easy just a screenshot we have a I call you do. It a summary sheet yeah and that i keep that on my phone to look at dates but man i keep a, a hunting guide at the house i keep a hunting guide at the office i keep a hunting guide in the car because you never know where a question is going to come up and I, you know nine times out of ten i've got to look it up just about oh i know i don't you can go I, I know they've got them at bass pro i know they've got them at bass pro and other outlets throughout the uh the west tennessee area but you're you really need one because of all the, of course, the bird season. You know, we still got dove season going on till the till the twenty eighth, so it's getting really, uh, really close. Yeah. That's two more days, and uh, and then we're gonna the, the goose season's over, uh, the early wood duck season over. And I know, Bill, uh, I don't know, I, I heard good reports. Have you heard anything, Bill, about that from the 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 wood duck teal season? You talked to any of your buddies? Yeah, I just, I- uh, like we normally have in this part of the country, just really spotty, especially with teal. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, a lot of them got through before we opened. And, you know, of course, we rarely have uh, – we just don't have a lot of great teal habitat in September. But, uh, you know, some folks got them, and, and some people got into some good wood duck hunts. I, I didn't get out. Um, I went dove hunting. Well, that's what uh, – uh, of course, it goes through, as we said, Sunday, let's see, the 28th. Uh, mm-hmm. on that but amy i know so many things particularly talking about deer they need to be prepared because uh dates have changed you know the young sportsmen's dates have come up here coming up at the end of october uh, a lot of things like that and the, it isn't this a special day of some sort the 26th is this some kind of special day is it national hunting day or something or another if i'm not wrong yeah, yeah. it is uh and that this is leads into man it's a perfect opportunity to get out there and go hunting we have a wide variety of things for people to do we have two big game seasons open like you were just talking about you got deer and turkey and then you've got multiple small games yes so get out enjoy the outdoors we've had the weather lately this little cool down you know yeah it's it's kind of kicked everybody into overdrive and of course we did mention that there was the facebook live on uh, wednesday at noon uh i know i forgot it uh, and I'll admit it now, but uh, had a chance to go back well, and watch the, it. Uh, had a chance to go because it's still there. You can go back and yeah, watch it there. that's the good thing about it. You can actually go to YouTube or you can go to our Facebook page, and you can watch it. It's about an hour long, and it does address some uh, – uh, we do a little short presentation at the beginning, where we were at the end of last year, and then you know where we're going this year, and then it does probably about 50 minutes of question and answer. So you – those questions that have been lingering in the back of your mind, that it's a good chance that question gets answered on that show. And and you were they were able to do it uh, and get questions uh, from the audience. They had uh, uh, 
uh, from the Facebook people uh, that were watching. And then they'll do it again October the 29th, again at noon. Uh, I think it, it must be a, a luncheon meeting that TWRA is having. They're all eating sandwiches, I guess, while they're doing this. But uh, that is October <laughs> the 29th at noon at Central Time. You can do it again for the second part of that. But uh, to know that deer season f- opens, these dates are, you know, October 31st through November the 1st. Uh, that is the uh, gun muzzleloader archery young sportsman. I ca- I called them a juvenile hunt one time, and everybody said that was 201 popular. Uh, so I, think, I, you know, I've always, when I was a kid growing up, that's what it was called. That it was, was called a juvenile hunt. Yes. You know, so. I got yeah, ridiculed. It's, it's, it's a young sportsman. Yeah, the youth hunt, young sportsman, that's coming up. But, you know, one thing y'all don't need to forget, make sure you do refer to the hunting guide over the fall turkey regulations, because there are a lot of counties in West Tennessee that are uh, not, not That's open. it. Yep. Yep, so you, you need to check that out, and that is the Tennessee Hunting and Trapping Guide. Uh, it's listed. You can go online, and actually online, it's it's kind of easier to navigate online because we have those tabs up there at the top, and you can go straight just to turkey. You don't you don't have to flip through the pages to find it. You know, you can just hit turkey, and it'll take you right to it on that tab. Is that on the tngov.com? Uh, that or? is on our uh, tnwildlife.org, yes. Okay, you can go to that tnwildlife.org and pick up all that information there. And I know you guys will be, uh, the, the officers will be out this weekend. So, uh, you know, folks, uh, be prepared, be safe. Right, Amy? Remember the tag before you drag. That's that it. Is an effect. it. That is an effect. And make sure you are following that rule or you may receive a, a citation. Well, you know, Amy, I really think, the, and I know Bill will uh, go along with this uh, due to COVID-19 and all these things. I think we're going to have more people out the bow hunting than maybe ever bill would you would you agree to that i mean uh it, it, it's going to be interesting i mean uh, you know obviously we had them out in spring turkey season yep. and fishing but but you know so many more back at work um you know but hopefully it, it helps uh some of those people who who got into it in the spring because they suddenly had time maybe they'll uh carry over and hunt in the fall where maybe they hadn't in years and then uh a chance uh there's more and more people bow hunting using uh, the crossbow, and so I hope somebody didn't buy a crossbow last night or in or on their way to the woods right now. Uh, <laughs> and one thing to remember: if uh, you can now do hunter safety completely online, so there if you go. got a youth out there that needs to get certified, yes, go to our website. You can click on it. Uh, we will actually have a free version come out. The one that is available right now costs some money. Okay, there is a free one coming out. It will be out soon, and it will, like I said, it's free. So it just takes a couple hours for the kid to sit down and do it, and then you can print off your certificate, and you're good to go. My goodness, oh, I. I wish that was there back when Things I... Things have changed. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> wish that was there when I took my under education and they uh, and they called me out and said, uh, Larry, you, you didn't you didn't pass. And I was, uh, said, what? what do you mean? I didn't I took it with my son and they, they t- called me outside. I said, this is not going to look good, the outdoor editor uh, flunking the hunter safety course here. We're going to have to do something about this. And, of course, I stuck my head in the door. I think uh, your husband might have been there, uh, Amy, but they were all just going crazy laughing. You know that they had thought they had fooled me and thought that uh, that I'd, I, I, folks, I did pass, okay. But uh, they, they had me going for. Amy. I used to, uh, I used to bet the the parents when they would come in with their kids to the class and take it, and I'd be like, who's going to make the higher score? You know, and, uh, uh, the kid would the, usually. The parents would usually they would take the challenge, like if they beat me, you know, we'll go get this or something, but. Yeah. It, it was quite inter. It, it was, was always entertaining, and uh, honestly, um, I'm going to have a field day for the ones who have taken their class online earlier in the summer and haven't been able to get into a class, and they still want to do that traditional class. Oh, we'll probably be um, the plan is right now is to have two of those out at Lone Oak uh, in the month of October. That's so great. Keep an eye on our website. Uh, we'll be making those announcements for people that still. You know, want to come to a That's class, great. we'll have two in October. That's great. You let me know about that, too. All right. Amy, appreciate you, girl. Have a great day, and uh, always thank you for your information. Talk to you later, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Amy Snyder. And, and, and guys, I know that uh, uh, there's so much uh, transition, uh, whether it's uh, uh, 
deer or whatever it might be with CWD, but uh, all the duck hunters are getting ready, right, Bill? I mean, it's, oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Especially with it cooling off, and you feel a lot better about going out and working on duck blinds and all. Yeah, well, I felt that way about deer blinds too. So, but uh, <laughs> we, we won't. We, you know, I'm seeing on social media how a lot of guys are still rushing to get food plots in for the deer. I think they're going to be a little late. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. Depends on what they're planting, though. If you're just, you know, if they're trying to get some winter wheat in to have a nice little green right. field, it's, you know, those things will be in be in good shape. But, but yeah, you're you're if you're working on deer stuff now, you're probably behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still needing to hang a couple of stands, and I can't get to the woods where I need to do it because I have about 200 acres of no-till soybeans between me and the woods. Ah, well, uh, we had about uh, a few acres of uh, tall grass, but we got to it, uh, <laughs> and it's up. My uh, redneck. Ground blind is up. My gilly redneck ground blind is up, and uh, I think it's in a great location. And then uh, I checked on another place. Uh, lots of deer signs, lots of movement. I've seen a lot of deer uh, going o- along the road to those places. So uh, for you bow hunters out today, if you're still hunting, if you're late and on your way, be safe. Have a great hunt, and uh, hope we uh, see some of your pictures. We would like to have. And we talked about this earlier. Send your photographs to lroutdoors.com. You can go to the website, click on there. We would like to have more participation from you folks out there. Uh, I know you're not a professional photographer, maybe, like Ron Wong, who uh, has made great photographs. But we want more fishing and hunting photographs on the website. So, uh, yeah, hey, it's LR outdoors at att.net that's my uh that is my email address or go to lroutdoors.com we're going to be giving away some products we've got arrangements this year just made it up uh recently to uh the, the best pictures that come in so uh we'll let it go with that and i will announce well i'll i'll, I'll save that for later I'm, i got something else i'm going to tell you but we'll save that for for <laughs> later because uh it's uh, it means a, a a lot to me, but we would like more pictures, right, Ron? I mean, the pictures. Yeah, are, absolutely. Yeah, pictures are worth a thousand picture, words. A picture paints a thousand words. That's it. You you beat me and, to it. You know. So, and, and you know it just. Uh, and you too, it Cooksy. Really does. You too, Cooksy. I want to see some pictures. You know, you guys got to. You're out and about all the time. Shoot. If, if I if I ever get to shoot something, I'll take a picture. <laughs> You'll take a picture of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's take a break. Come right back. And yes, we're going to the man himself, John Godwin, the first person non Robertson member of family to join the Duck Dynasty Duck Commander team. But he's talking about catfishing on Outdoors with Larry Wright. We'll be right back. <laughs> 